One other story, and we haven't touched on this in the time between last Tuesday and this Tuesday. And you often tell us, Chuck, you live in Phoenix. Yes. And, and you're looking at a situation now with the NBA investigating its owner, Robert Sarver. Um, I want to say this. Um, Robert Sarver uh, did not own his sons when I played there. Phoenix is my home. So I don't know all this stuff going on behind the scenes. I've only met Robert a few times. He's always treated me cordial. The NBA has to do a comprehensive re, uh, in, in investigation. But I want to say this, um, and I'm not here because this bothered me. Uh, the story's out now that his wife has been contacting people. She cannot do that. This is a official investigation. She cannot be calling the witnesses. That's 100% wrong. Yeah. That's like, and for the, for those who the allegations are of uh, racism, hostile work environment with racism, racism misogynistic yeah. comments, sexist. Uh, yeah, and um, and yeah, and, and you point out, you know, that uh, ESPN had a report, um, and that, I'm just, and, and everybody asked me to comment on it. Have been, yeah, have been yeah. contacted, but by, she can't do by that. his wife, and she says it was not to intimidate. Although those who are have been contacted have talked about the messages they were given, and they see and they say they feel Adam Silver. Adam Silver has to step in. Like I say, I don't know whatever happened with the sons, but I do know is Adam Silver's got to step in and tell Robert Sarver, you or your wife cannot, like, that's, uh, you know, that's lawyer in one-on-one. -on -one. You shouldn't be talking to people, the witnesses, in the middle of an investigation. Everybody knows that one. I mean, that's just 100. So Adam Silver got to say, hey, Robert, I think his wife is Penny. I don't know them well, but they can't be talking to witnesses. That's 100% wrong. Of course, when there's allegations of this magnitude, it has to be an investigation. Me personally, I played for Robert a year and a half. Never, never had a problem with him. Would never imagine any of this going on. But I'm sure people that's been working there longer than me have more and better stories. I was only there a year and a half. He was nice to me. His family's nice to me. But when you have allegations of this magnitude, an investigation has to be done. Yeah, 100%. The guys have, have hit everything on the head. Uh, and, and we will see because, because it's so many things, it, it would be hard to cover anything up if it is or isn't true. It would be difficult to do that. You'd have, it, 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 the proof will definitely come out can, with can so many Can I say one things. thing, too? Sure. This is to anybody watching this damn show. Anybody watching this show. If somebody treats you bad at work, racially, sexist, whatever, homophobic, you got to say something that moment. You can't be saying, nah, I need my job. Nobody should work in a hostile environment. I mean, when you hear these stories, you're like, who would let somebody talk to them like that in a job situation? Like, I don't care how much money TNT or when I played in the NBA. If, if, listen, if I played for the Phoenix Suns and that dude said some of the stuff that's allegedly, I would have punched him in the face right there on the spot. No amount of money in the world at any job you got should you be susceptible to a hostile working environment. I don't care if you're a maid. I don't care if you are somebody's housekeeper. I don't care where you work at in your life. If somebody's treating you bad, you are a human being, and you should defend yourself. Yeah. Meantime, in Portland, um, investigation conducted by the Blazers of uh, Neil O'Shea and his uh, uh, conduct in what is also described as a toxic work environment. So uh, we'll stay on top of those stories as they continue uh, to develop. When we come back, more highlights from Tuesday night. Keep it right here.